Well, depending on the nature of the case, employees under investigation can be placed on department-directed leave. These cases involve any alleged claim of that would be considered a risk to the safety of our students and our staff. It's um, challenging to get the information to the public that it's uh, real important to work on prevention because um, it's very hard to help the perpetrator, uh, the victims after they've been abused or to help to rehabilitate a perpetrator. But if we spend the funding and time on prevention, um, it's more um, economical oh, and that um, for every dollar you spend on prevention, you spend another $10. You have to spend that much more on the other end. All new hires go through new employee orientation presented by the Office of Human Resources, or OHR. The videos and our PowerPoint presentations and other materials are available on the DOE's intranet site, which all of our employees have access to. In the training, OHR reviews what is considered inappropriate interaction with students and colleagues. I haven't done it in a while, but usually at the beginning of the year, all the teachers receive all kind of trainings, and it's all um, not individual schools, but they do have um, training days, and um, I'm not sure who does it because I haven't done it, but um, it might be someone from the government who gives training on identifying um, um, symptoms of child abuse, so um, that would be for identifying, if you're a teacher, identify the children in your class who might be victims of child abuse. And okay. it varies, I, I do think it varies from school to school. Unfortunately, it's not real um, uniform, the training. You report it. Even if, you, even if you just suspect it, I would report it. Because, um, okay. There's no consequence for the person who reports it. But if you don't report it, there is a consequence. If you if you work with children the, in in the state of Hawaii, it's mandated reporting to anyone who works. With Please call the number on your screen if you or a loved one have been a victim of child abuse.